Okay, Lee, disappointing result today against Chaps Manor. What was your overall assessment of the match? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, without, without a shadow of a doubt, that was probably um, the worst 45 minutes uh, I've witnessed us in a, in, a, in, a, in a long, long time against a very, very competitive team that um, are looking to do well in the division that they play in. Yeah, you could look at excuses. I think we're living in a, in a world where people are either isolating or dealing with COVID or, or catching up with things that they couldn't do during lockdown. So again, today we arrived here today without, without um, probably the equivalent of a whole team um, available to us. Um, that said, the, the, the pluses came from our under 18s that came on in the second half and really showed the desire I expect in the Bristol Manor Farm shirt the first 45 minutes. Yeah, it was some very, very soft goals conceded and like probably at half time I actually said to the lads, 3-0 flattered us because mm. they were very, very good. Um, they, were, they, were, they were excellent in fact uh, today, so uh, just got to hold your hand up sometimes and take, take that sort of medicine. But um, again, the, the, this isn't like, a, I'm proud of the fact that we are fulfilling fixtures, we're not crying off for games. I know other clubs are um, being victimised by planning for a friendly and then sides are calling it off because they don't want to turn up under strength. We we fulfilled our fixtures because I believe we have got depth at this club, we have got a good under 18s. It is something we've always done over the years to, to really invest in those areas. So even uh, again today, we've been competitive against the side looking to, to probably win the league that they're in and join us in the Southern League. Um, with maybe a side that would be more like a under 18s with a, with, 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 with a few equivalents. Would you say you were taken aback then by, by Shep Mallet today? You said it was the worst 45 minutes that you've seen. It's probably the worst 45 I've seen since being at the club. Would you say you were taken aback by, by Shepton's threat moving forward? No, uh, like, uh, like we, all, we knew when we come here that, that they're a good side, um, well managed, well disciplined and uh, this is a proper football club. It's got a lot of tradition attached to it. So you don't ever come here and get an easy ride no matter what they have out playing for them. But today they've had some really, really good players play for them. The two lads up front, uh, uh, Jack is an under 18 at Bishop Sutton and um, David was at our club and probably he's looking at himself today and thinking why well, in the in the team that I'm playing against but I, I just try and be fair with everyone when we have got everyone available because we've got players that are unavailable at the minute like Jamie Short or like Dean Stambo and Howe to name three of like, like your forwardy type players Mike Bryant like you know like and, that's, and then you go into like the defensive players like Mason Winter Steve Kingdon uh, and uh, amongst others that are unavailable today like where um his opportunities probably would have been limited when we got everyone available. So he's a lad that needs to play. He's, he seems to be reaping a benefit from that. So uh, so hopefully he's going to progress and either take Shepson Mallet to that level or someone, maybe us, to come back looking at him again. But uh, again, we weren't taken aback. We respect all opposition we play and we, we set out accordingly. But today, the first 45 minutes was... Uh, it, look, we looked tired today. Mm. And, and uh, in fairness, I've just said to the boys in there, the, the 11 that started today, I've probably utilised them mainly in all friendlies. So that's unnatural. You know I mean, normally you've got a squad of players in friendlies and you're trying to give everyone game time. The selection's been forced upon me too often. And uh, like I say, there's a message to the ones that ain't available at this moment for different reasons. There are some very good reasons, some that I want them to put a bit more effort to be available and choosing not, I believe, will be pretty much near at full strength against a good Murphy time side that we need to be a lot better than today in. Looking ahead to Tuesday then against Merthyr, what is your message to your players, Lee, to sort of make sure that we don't have a replica of what happened this afternoon? I, I, I don't believe we'll, we'll have a, a replica of this uh, any time anytime soon. Um, we know what we're gearing up for, we know what we, we're, we're in a competitive league, we're entering into with sides, like, you know, like naming a few, like, like Siren Sester and teams like Froome that obviously are still smarting from being relegated a couple of years ago and they need to try and make amends to that so they're going to try and be about there like you know it hasn't happened for them yet but hopefully they will uh, or in their case hopefully it will there's other sides there that are trying to going to be competitive so I think the league's going to be, have a lot of depth to it so we cannot ever afford to not be at, at the races in any game and today the first 45 minutes we we uh, weren't taking it for granted it was just it was football suicide at times and that shouldn't, shouldn't happen on the football pitch well let's concentrate on the positives then lads like you said the 18s that came in today I mean Kai Stenner what a performance he put in and obviously Charlie Tiley and Ben Courtier that came on as well just to name a few that is a massive positive to have those players in your youth team at your disposal do you reckon they've got a big future at the club and also possibly even a big future for next season if they keep performing well like they have been oh most definitely like uh, we, we, we wouldn't involve them in games if we didn't they're not here just to make the number up. They're not here just to to uh, 
like can like make the, the squad look bigger on a match day. Admittedly, there's some of them that are getting chances now that wouldn't have come around as regularly if everyone was available. But all they're doing is putting themselves in my thinking, and they can't do more than what they're doing at this moment. I, I, I trust them. I trust the, the way they are. The, the, the attitudes they got is superb. I'm the proper little men playing in a football team, and uh, and uh, hopefully they, they will uh, ask a few questions because if nothing else, it keeps like the more established players at this moment on their on their toes. And if there is a, a role reversal, then you, you've got good lads there waiting to step into that breach and uh, keep the squad honest.